it's the captain here. And Dennis Speed, hello. And uh, we're doing a little introduction video to um, tell you about some changes that PRS have made to the SE lineup in preparation for 2017. 2017 already, I, I can't believe it's it. It's become very fashionable, hasn't it, with guitar it, manufacturers to sort of launch 2017 products the year before. They must but all have a time machine. This is what I'm thinking. I'm just looking at these things going back to the future with the new stuff. So the SE range uh, from Paris. The reason we started with these two <laughs> guitars, the Santana and the Custom 24, is I thought there was some sort of nice symmetry really here yeah. about kind of how PRS got started, um, both with the Custom 24, which kind of I guess has been has been the sort of the mainstay of the of the PRS range right since he started back in the 80s, and of course using the Santana as that's the sort of the first artist that really um, started using the guitars and and. Uh, and sort of shot them up into the stratosphere of kind of you know famous guitar brands. Stratosphere, possibly the bad <laughs> choice of words there, wasn't it? Yes, the the not the, the non-stratosphere. <laughs> the uh, I didn't even think about that, but good spot. Yeah, exactly. There you um, go. So, SE uh, is a line uh, that originally standed for Student Edition, and that the, the Santana was the very very first ever SE. Was it? And he, it was him that actually, I think, wanted it to be like a student version. So something that's affordable for students or people that yeah. don't have the and dosh. I kind of think that although SE has remained as that's what we all call it, we call it the SE range, they've kind of dropped the sort of the where, you know, the student edition from because it's really, they're better than that really, they've, aren't they? They've, you look at them and they're just yeah. amazingly well made. Everything, you know, I always look at the little details, you know, where all the little things the joints in and all this stuff yeah. and the the top where it's gone yeah. on it's just really well done yeah man. i guess you know, i guess that's kind of where you know so if you're thinking some brands would call their student edition guitars like you know you might think of like the the 49 pound half size classical guitar as being like a student edition yeah in prs's eyes he uh and, I, and i've done interviews with paul where he talks about just trying to make a guitar that a professional musician would still be happy to play yeah but that is just affordable yeah. um and of course if you are a student and you can afford to, to start on a guitar like this i guess you're going to get a, a big sort of you know advantage yeah. over people who have to learn to play on an inferior that's guitar. an amazing guitar to start on yeah. you know if, if that's if that's if you've got the money to do that that's great yeah. and you get so much more so money. Let's tell you about why these are a bit different to the range that uh, has been in the catalogue for you know the last ten years or so. It was a spot for me because I was like, "What's the?" You know, I was just looking at them when when we unpacked them this morning, and I was going like that. But it's little details. It's little details. So, I guess the 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 mega cosmetic detail that I think everybody will love yeah. is no longer do you have. Uh, on the old headstock, it had a massive, great big SE logo, mm. and it just—I think it just used to say PRS in letters on the um, truss rod yeah. cover. Yeah. Now you have the proper Paul Reed Smith signature with this much smaller SE motif. Uh, let's get that in shot here for the camera. Mm. Um, so it doesn't—it looks a lot more like the American yeah. Uh, line. Yeah. Um, the other change for uh, 2017 is that most of the range not all the range and we'll go through them one by one but most of the range have had the pickups upgraded yep. um, so the custom 24 now they are now using the um, 8515 humbuckers but uh, a far eastern kind of copy of the 8515 uh, 8515 is is significant because 1985 was when the first sort of prs guitars came out and uh, in 2015, uh, for their 30th anniversary, they revisited that pickup yeah. and really tried to sort of understand what made that sort of magical and recreate it, and if they could improve it. And so the um, American stuff, the standard kind of American pickup now is what's called the 8515, so 1985 to 2015. And these are now like an SE version of an 8515. Uh, this also has uh, a new updated version of the pickups that go in the Santana guitars. Yeah. The 245, which we'll come to in a minute, again has had updated versions of the 245 pickup. In fact, the only one that, as far as I'm aware, has stayed the same is the P90 in the semi-hollow baritone. I like this. Yeah, I know. This is do. very cool. We'll get onto that in a minute. So that on that guitar, it's only the headstock that's changed. Yeah. Some of the other um, changes you'll see are colors. So as we go through the lines, hopefully on screen, you'll see different colors. So. Um, 
Custom 24, which is this one that Gorgeous I'm playing that. here. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, also comes in colors that you'll see on the screen now. Custom 22 has had uh, the pickups changed uh, and is also now coming with a trim rather than a hardtail. So Custom 22 is the 22 fret version where the pickups are a little bit further spaced apart. Um, so you get slightly different tone, particularly off the uh, neck pickup. Um, and, uh, but now comes with a trim. There's a Floyd Rose version, which there's always been, but the old Floyd Rose version had EMG pickups in it. Oh, did it? <laughs> uh, and the new uh, Floyd Rose version has, uh, again, the 8515s yep, in it. That's good. Uh, 245 we've talked about. Boom here with 245 pickups. Blah, blah, again, blah, blah, blah. hopefully you're seeing colours going across the screen of all these as I'm waffling. Cascade across the screen. Semi-hollow with the uh, P90s, which is super popular with a hard tail. Yep. Uh, and then there is a humbucker, completely solid version of this, this which again well. has got the 8515s on it, but it's baritone. Um, they look so good, don't they, though? You know, for, for the price. Mark Holcomb. I mean, which, Mark Holcomb. Which, you heard it here first, Mark Holcomb coming in to do a Captain Meats video at some point before the end mm, of the year. I heard it here too. Uh, and I, I think perhaps a clinic as well, so a masterclass. So if you live anywhere near Guildford, uh, check out our website for Ooh, details on that. So his guitar actually uh, uh, has just, again, had the headstock changed, but he's still using the Seymour Duncan. Um, it'll come to me in a second <laughs> as I look for it on screen. Uh, he has the Alpha Omega set. Alpha Omega set. Didn't, he, didn't they do a like a eight string or something for him recently? A private stock? Did they? Oh, it might have been a private stock. Yeah, yeah a private stock one. one. It looked amazing, like, a, like his sort of bluey, gray, Kind of colour, beautiful, beautiful. You know, Tom from the store's got one of those. Not the eight string, the six string. I know. It's lovely guitar. It is lovely. Uh, Mark Tremonti's guitar has had his pickups upgraded. Um, Zach Myers, uh, the headstock's been upgraded and he's got the new SE245 uh, pickups. Carlos Santana, which we have here, mm. which is a 24 fret guitar now and again has his. Uh, you can get all the way up there, man. And that's it. Anything else in the SE. Range SE custom range has been discontinued, uh, and the SE standard range, which is the one that sits beneath this one, uh, is still going. Uh, looks exactly the same as it ever did. Isn't having the headstock change. I think it's the same as it is. Uh, but they have discontinued some of the colours, so there's a slightly smaller colour range in that. I, could, uh, I can't keep up. I know. I can't keep up. I know. Gretz did a similar thing with changing just a little fit. fit, fit I pieces. kind of think it's like you know, updates, little updates to make you, a big to make a big. I know. Um, I, I pay, Change, again, you, know. you wouldn't change this. So these are, if you're if you're completely unfamiliar with the SE mm. range, they are mahogany, mahogany guitars with a maple cap, a proper maple cap, which you can see through the sort of reveal binding here. But they are uh, veneer flame tops. So um, that's entirely because it's massively cheaper and massively more consistent to use a plain maple top yeah. and then just overlay like a pretty veneer on it. Yeah. Uh, they have the uh, wide thin neck profile. So yeah. unlike Feels the American nice. yeah, unlike the American range where you get a choice of neck profile on the SE range you just get one neck okay. profile. It's the most popular neck profile so yeah. it's called wide thin. So wide thin. A little bit if you're used to, you know, if you've got something like a Epiphone Les Paul or something like that, it's going to feel a little bit wider this way and a little bit thinner this way. All right. Um, Regular sort of PRS machine heads on here. They're not locking machine heads like you get on American stuff. Uh, nice trim system. Yeah, it's like, which trim? trim there's a bit it's of their own Wilkinson design kind of They're, thing. Looks a bit Wilkinson, yeah. doesn't it? But it's their yeah. own design trim yeah. system. Yeah. Coil taps on most of the guitars. Not on this one. Not on the Santana. And they, these, on these, to me, these, the these uh, knob sibs, for me, they sit they're a little bit close to each other. But maybe yeah. that's because he, he's got little fingers. Who knows? Perhaps, or they're just further out the way. I don't know. Perhaps that's it, isn't it? We've talked about. Who knows? I mean, that's obviously an knots. artist model, isn't it? So yeah, exactly. It's what he it wants. It feels really good, though. It sits, it sits nicely on the. Give us some know, clean tones. Well, I think yeah, we'll, we'll take you through. We've only got four of the guitars here today. This is a um, worldwide launch of this. is on October the nineteenth, which is hopefully the day this goes live. So we've got some. Um, these aren't pre-production. You know, these are proper finished guitars, but we haven't got the whole range to show you. They're finished, not Danish. No, that's right. Uh, yes, they're, uh, they're <laughs> yes. So come on, All right? Let's get play, some clean sounds. Applause. Okay, let's. So I'm in the uh, Victory. Uh, sorry, the Victory Sherry 44, and this is kind of the clean, cleanish, with a bit of a. Oh, 
kind of clean, but a little Still bit of break up, isn't hair. it? A little bit of reverb on it. <laughs> I should probably play some like that? Um, Is that the still bridge? on the still on the fr on the bridge pickup here. On Sorry, the on, on the neck pickup. From the that's just on the just amp. by literally drive just just so, yeah if you just go if I go back here so that one I know if I drive it hard so there's a lot right. a lot of range in that pickup man that's yeah. very that's that, that so if you if wow. you hold hold the santana up because the santana yeah. is the sort of the more symmetrical kind of shape so you'll notice that the sort of the two sides are pretty much the same in fact if not identical the one is a little bit oh you've got a you've got a little cutaway here you've you got a little cutaway there, i know it? but i mean as in that's just not on that side oh no yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then the yeah. the custom 24 is is um different obviously you've got a slightly higher horn on this side than this side um, so that's are the, they the only same. Real... Are they the same width down here? Because this, for some reason, this seems a bit wider, doesn't it? I think they're the same. The two four five is much thicker. Um, oh, it looks a bit thicker, doesn't it? Yeah, it is a bit thicker. But we'll put anyway. the links in the description yeah, yeah. below, and you can go to full specs all the... about scale lengths and all that kind of stuff. And but width and stuff. That's very nice. That sounds great. So yeah. this one, if I just go completely clean, we have got coil taps on yeah. here now. So if I start with um, just a, a, a neck pickup. Both pickups. So you've got a nice range of tones here. If I use a little pedal, because there's not really any, I can't really get any gain out of the amplifier just by hitting the strings hard. But uh, again, it's pretty expressive and dynamic. And for anybody who, you know, I'm guessing some of the, the, the more famous uh, PRS artists are all way heavier. They're not really blues guys. You know, you've got sort of more rocky guys like Mark Tremonti. Yeah. Why so is I that? I don't know why I've got to. Um, because I think during the 90s, do you know what? This is, I've completely hypothesized all this. this okay. Is, this is Cause not Because I'm wondering, because I've, I've, that's my sort of. So. So when they started, they kind of they Santana obviously was the, the big guy, and yep. they had you know, they had some more session guys, but I think they never really had any guitar kind of heroes that you know other than Santana. And I still think that that you know a lot of people were growing up and saying like I really like PRS guitars, but I'm still going to go and buy a Les Paul yep. because you know um, Jimmy Page and Slash and you know all these kind yeah, of yeah, like. Yeah more rock orientated artists so i think and this is just my hypothesis that in the 90s prs kind of just went do you know what we got to get that new generation of rock, rock players kind of guys yeah. so that so that you know in like 10 or 20 years time people are going oh i want the prs instead of a les paul because my the, all the rock ah, heroes in yeah, the 90s yeah. play them so you kind of saw this like you know prs and uh, Boogie with the dual rectifier. Yeah. Both kind of all of a sudden went from being kind of the jazzy blues thing yeah. into like the metal thing um, with, you know, you had people like uh, Wes Borland and Mark Tremonti and uh, 
Uh, James Addiction. Right? No, he was a, he was a boogie guy. No, he's not a. He's yeah, not he's a, never, sorry, I he's don't think I've ever seen him with guy. PRS. But you know, sort of, you had that kind of uh, vibe. Yeah. But I might be wrong. It might it might not have been intentional from PRS's Who knows? point of view at yeah. all. It might have just been coincidental. Well, that's one of those things, isn't it? So look with a with a. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to try and do all the kind of the, the, the proper <laughs> metal <laughs> sort of stuff. Oh, but the 8515 is a is not voiced to be like a, a PAF. It is, it's more pronounced and a little That's bit more. That's the other pickup they do, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a <bit> more. <laughs> it's a bit more that. Yes. So, which I'm guessing again that the rockers all like. Yeah. Um, it's very, they're very articulate these pickups uh, because we did a video, uh, Rabi and me, we did a video on the, was that the old version of the uh, SEs? We yes. did the epic deal. We had an epic deal on it, and and definitely just sitting. We had a think similar setup. Yeah. I could definitely hear this. They've they've redone the pickups. To, Speaking of that um, epic deal, yeah, of which there are one or two left, by the way. If you if you yeah, want yeah. one of those, um, that's the other guitar that I forgot to mention is still in the range, which is the Custom Twenty Two ah, Semi yes. Hollow. Yes. So if you want the Custom Twenty Two, can't even say it. The Custom <laughs> Twenty Two Semi Hollow, but with the. Um, new logo on the headstock and with the 8515 pickups that also is still in the rain fabulous shall we um we shall i'm excited about this next thing. well i'll go 245 245 345 one two and three you five, can five, go six. um so you won't believe this you say what do you say barry tone so there yeah. is a blues artist i did a gig in las vegas uh at some point of course you did yeah. and uh, and uh, and there's, there was a guy there and he was called cook e jar <laughs> Check it out. I, I kid you. Google Cook E Jar. You joke? No, nope, I'm not joking. Check it out. He came to see us. It was very fun. It's very, uh, very cool. Anyway, so baritone, right? She's gonna Charlie Hunter up there or something. Oh. more chords in that riff than I've learned in my entire <laughs> life. Um, <laughs> We're getting inspired by people coming into Sears, you know, and that's, um, I love, I love this. Okay, so do you know why it's called the 277? 277, no. It's because it's, oh, it's the scale length. Oh, the scale length. Yeah. So, uh, so it's very long. If you guys, so the idea of a baritone is, is a regular six string guitar, same um, sort of string intervals and everything like that. So all the regular chords work, everything works. But yeah. Tuned down, I think in this instance, to a B. They feel um, really... Uh, so it's tuned down to a B great. with I much heavier this. strings on it. And of yeah. course, if uh, for any of you guys that know about putting really heavy strings and low tunings on your guitar, uh, <laughs> conventional scale lengths just don't really work because there's not enough tension in the string. So it's a longer scale length. Um, this guitar is available in two versions, a solid humbucker version or a semi-solid P90 version, which is the one that this. Pete's got. I yeah, love it. there's a great video, uh, if I do say so myself, uh, yes, I have to of, I'm in it, you know. of me playing one of these uh, from about a year ago, which will obviously be the previous one with Chappers. It's probably on Chappers channel, actually. And again, it, the whole thing with the baritone is it just takes you somewhere different. Completely, um, uh, completely. Because you, you know, play a normal D chord on it. It's time for you to do some looping Is action, it? I think. Well, that's because it's. So we not hear that first. No, I, 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 think some, should, uh... I think you should just go there with some. Ma okay, let's see. <laughs> oh! Mm-hmm. 
Anyway. Can you do, <laughs> do like big chords? Big chords. Big chords are, are, where they're, are where they're at, I think, on a baritone. So, well, like, um... It does sound great, doesn't it? It is really cool. But also, f j not, as you're saying, all those chords, those nice sort of... Uh you know all of those nice chords? That's nice. And yeah, don't, really don't get, don't sort of think that you can't use a baritone with a six string in a band or a recording environment or whatever, because you absolutely can, as you, as you just saw. It's a great second sort of guitar, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just something else to layer up over the top. You can even do this. What are you doing? I'm going, uh, I'm going. <laughs> I can do you, much of that. You've been listening to too much Rebeer, haven't you, recently? <laughs> yeah. um, got... I mean, obviously, the okay. humbucker version of this is probably more suited to, yes, to, that, to style. that sort of stuff. So, 245 is the last one we got today. Yep. Um, 245, as you can see, is absolutely a nod towards um, 
you know, probably, the, you know, the iconic rock guitar of all time. So what have we got here? We've got uh, a shorter scale length, so 24 and a half inch scale length. Um, the custom 24 I know is 25 inch scale length. I'm not sure on the Santana, I think it's 25 as well. Mm. But anyway, that'll be in the spec if you want to know. So this is a shorter scale length. Um, mm. A regular Les Paul is 25 and three quarter. So I get, sorry, 24 and three quarter. So I guess that'll be, you know, a nod to this. It's thicker than yep. any of the other ones. Uh, still with the maple cap gorgeous and the veneer top, on it. That's got a gorgeous top on it. Absolutely. Wrap around tailpiece, so not, not the kind of, um, Tunematic kind of system where you've got the the, the saddle and the and the uh, sorry the bridge and the tailpiece separately, um, but it's intonation sort of compensated, so should be completely fine and stable for that. Um, a chunkier neck, neck yeah, yep. chunkier neck than comes on the custom twenty four and four. You know your traditional two volumes and two tones, but no coil taps on this. So, so. So these have got, again, their own updated pickups for 2017 on it. They're the, the SE245 pickups. Um, here's my neck pickup. It's hard to tell if it really sounds that different from the Custom 24. Feels quite a lot different to play, I would say, more than anything. It's the neck as well, isn't it? Both pickups together. And the bridge. Maybe it just sounds a little bit brighter, maybe, and mm. a bit more. Might be something to do with the fact that it's not going into a trem system. You sometimes get a slightly different tone from that. A uh, bit of grunge on here. That sounds to me a bit more throaty, a little bit more. Certainly, Definitely. I think if you're a traditionalist, you may feel more at home with something like an SE245. Yeah, this, this, is, uh, this here as well reminds me of something that's just <laughs> happening. As heavy as I thought it would be. I don't know if nope. it's the I, type I, of mahogany that they use in these things or whether it's chambered. There's no, I don't think there's anything that I've seen online to suggest whether it is chambered or not, but it's a nice weight. Yeah, it's not um, too bad, is it? It's a rosewood fingerboard as well, isn't it? I think they're all so, rosewood yeah. boards. They've and, all got the bird inlays. One, one thing I spotted is the bird inlays, because these all got the bird inlays, but I seem to remember some of them got the dots in the other ones. Maybe that's I think another that's the cheaper SE standard. Ah, that's the cheaper okay. dots. Yeah. Uh, um, it's difficult to keep up. But they're all, they look they all come pretty. with a nice gig bag, don't yep, they? Yep. Nice deluxe kind of gig bag, which yep. I expect will flash across the screen. It's coming on the screen, the screen. here. Mm. Oh. And as I said, uh, the Andersons website has got high resolution images of all the models in the 2017 SE range in all the different colors. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description below. If we haven't covered a model that you're interested in, whiz over. And if we do do subsequent videos for them, that's where we'll post them. Yep. Um, so look, that is a couple of fine and dandy upgrades to yeah, uh, I like the it. I like it. PRS SE custom They're Very range. pretty guitars, I must say. And I look, wonder, I would like to see one relate. Oh, well, they, I don't well, know. Because the, the lacquer is not, it's not, not, it's not nitro, nitro is no, it? So, so you it might not be... Relicking tends to just look like damage, doesn't it? Rather than <laughs> sort of, you know, nice. I and mean, this is quite a nice touch for PRS yeah, as well. They, uh, if you live in the UK, every guitar that you buy from an authorised PRS dealer will have gone through a, a UK-based um, QC process. So uh, you get nice setups on the guitars straight out the yeah, box. Yeah, they feel lovely. Yeah. It was even in tune uh, when we got that yeah, out of the box. So yeah. that's, that's so lots you, of And you get to find out who did it. This was uh, FW, whoever he is. Yeah. So well done you, uh, FW. Yeah. Who yeah, did yours? Here, same here. F or SW or? SW, you think Stuart West did all these, do you? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I don't think so. He's too busy. He's he ain't got busy. time to do all this as well. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, let's jam out. So we do like. Uh, I'll do. I'll do some uh, basings on this, and then. Uh, okay. Uh,
say this is quite a lot hotter than that isn't it you notice it as yeah. soon as you jump from that to that so if you want yeah. hot mm. naughtiness uh you like your higher gain stuff then custom 20 the, the 8515 loaded guitars se 245 a little bit more vintage sound but there we are look there that's the run through nice thanks for watching They're it's lovely. been a slightly longer video than i thought it might be but <laughs> they always are but when pete's playing it's fine isn't it the hours just <laughs> while They're away just, exactly they just start. There well, we we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. SE Range 2017. <laughs> Need more coffee. From the future. Let's go. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, oh so <laughs> close. <laughs>